Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. As you go about today, let us pray. Father, thank you so much for today. And Lord, I bring your people that are listening, Lord. I bring them under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Lord, that no plague or destruction or any evil thing come near them today. Because they are under the covering of the precious blood of your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Every time you go to God in the place of prayer about something or anytime you're asking God for direction about something or anytime you want to hear from the Lord, you know, there is a particular sound you must look out for. It is very vital that you hear that sound. And what is that sound? It is the sound of peace in your heart, the peace that comes from God. Because even if you can't hear the specific sentences from God, look out out for peace because peace is God's signal. Peace is God's first way of talking to you. Peace is God's way of telling you that all is well, that you are in the right direction. You have nothing to worry about. But whenever peace is withdrawn, whenever you can't find that calmness deep within your heart, then you know that there is a problem. But whenever you notice that there's peace in your heart about something, then that is God's first way of signaling to you that, okay, you know what? You are taking the steps in the right direction. When you go to pray about something or asking God for a particular thing, even when you don't see the physical manifestation of what you have asked for, the moment you see peace, the moment you feel that calmness in your heart, what that means is that God has answered, but you just need to give it a little time so that you can see the manifestation of what it is that you are asking God for. A lot of times people want to see the manifestation, the physical manifestation of whatever it is they're asking God for before they believe that God has done it. But no, the way God operates is when you ask him for something, he will send his peace as a signal that yes, I have heard you and I have answered, but you need to give it time to see the manifestation. In fact, if you're walking by faith, you need to look for the peace of God and act as though you have already received it the moment you have peace in your heart. If you wait until you see the physical manifestation before you know that God has done something, then you are not acting by faith. You are actually walking by sight. In fact, if you read your Bible carefully from Mark chapter 11 verse 24, he says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Did you notice what God said there? He said, believe you have received, received this past tense and then it will be yours. So when you ask God for something in the place of prayer, look in your heart, in the depths of your heart. Do I have peace about it? The moment that calmness comes, believe that it has been settled. Whether or not you see the physical manifestation or not, that's because the peace of God is the first sound that God sends to let you know, I have heard you, I'm working on it. It is also God's first sign of letting you know, okay, you know what, what you are doing is, you know, you're going in the right direction. Let's read from Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. The Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So the Bible is saying that, you know, that the peace of God, it passes all understanding. Why did the Bible use that phrase? Because you might have peace in your heart, but everywhere around you is tumultuous. Everywhere is turning around and there is so much chaos on the outside. But the Bible says God will give you peace on the inside. And so it passes all understanding. It doesn't make sense why you're excited. It doesn't make sense why you're happy when everybody can see that on the outside things are not going well. But you know what? You're not working with what's going on on the outside. You should work with what is going on on the inside. But if you work with what is going on on the outside, you are going to make a lot of mistakes. What counts is not what is going on on the outside. What counts is not what's going on in the physical. What counts is what is going on on the inside. So God is saying, I'm going to give you a peace that the world and others won't understand. But you understand because you are my child and you know that I speak through the voice of God peace. Every time you lose peace, you should be worried. You should go to God in a place of prayer and find what it is. If you're about to take a step and you feel a restriction, you lose your peace, 
God is telling you that you need to pay attention to what you're about to do. I'm not supporting you. I don't think that that is the right way to go. So always look out for what is going on on the inside. God is speaking to you through his peace. And God is speaking to you through the withdrawal of his peace. Always look out for that signal from God. Even when you don't hear sentences from God, look out for the sound of peace. Because one of the loudest voices of God is the voice of peace peace on the inside. But note, if you are a prayerful person, it will be easier for you to feel the peace of God more than somebody who doesn't pray. And so his spirit is not sensitive enough to pick up the signals of peace from the Lord. So that is why I encourage you to spend time in developing your spiritual life. Pray, study, meditate, and it becomes easier for you to hear the leading and the direction of the Lord. Because if you try to take steps in the flesh based on your mental calculation, you will end up doing the wrong thing and at the end of the day, you will regret it. I hope that you have learned so much about how to hear from God, how to be led by the Spirit of God. Because with this edition, it brings us to the end of our series on hearing the voice of God or being led by the Spirit of God. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being a part of this series. As we begin the next month, we'll begin with another powerful series that will change your life. Stay tuned. God bless you. Remember, you are very valued by the Lord and God has great plans for you. Enjoy your day. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks. From Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred. Oh,